Hi, and thank you for joining me for what's new with Recast 4.2. In this release, we added some features, and I'm going to be talking about the one that we added here to Remote Software Center. Uh, in the Remote Software Center, before this, we only had the ability to look at items that were deployed at the machine level. Uh, but in this release, we added the ability for it to uh, display deployments to the users. And in this case, you can see that uh, I've got Edge Enterprise stable. This is a deployment to users, and you can see now that it is showing up in the Remote Software Center. Over here in System Information, uh, we've added the ability to show many computers at the same time. So as you can see, I had selected 19 computers, and now it's showing me the overall system information of all those machines. This is really handy for going through and kind of giving an overall idea of what's going on in your environment. Um, from here, you, all these different tabs work. Uh, so you can take a look at the different hardware that is going on in your environment. Uh, drivers is handy. If, you, if you've chosen all the same model, you can start checking to see if you actually have all the different drivers installed for those models and making sure you don't have any uh, drift going on because you can check the, the driver version and making sure that the models that you have are actually using the same driver version. Over here in client information, uh, so this is all the information that is being pulled from the CM client itself and not about the actual machines per se, but what is being deployed to that client. So you can see here, I've got 14 devices on the latest 2002 client, and then uh, five that are down level that I'm gonna have to go deal with. It also will dig through the cache in all the machines. So here it lets me know the, uh, the different cache sizes. And then you can actually go ahead and change the size on uh, specific sets or all or none. Um, I actually thought that everything was going to be set to this one value. And I'm kind of all over the board. And I'm just going to leave that alone for now. Cache deals, details, this is interesting. Uh, this you can confirm that different items that you were trying to pre-cache are now down on the clients. Or if you ever wanted to, it's like, oh, I don't need this update down here anymore. So why don't we go ahead and just get rid of this update, get it cleaned up off of all these machines, get that room back. Along with some of this orphan content, I don't want it. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. Uh, so, but one other thing that I found quite handy was being able to see like right here, I've got my uh, 1909 production package and it's on, uh, I've got version two out on 11 devices, which is my latest uh, package. Uh, version one is on nine, uh, but version one, once again, is no longer needed because it has been superseded by version two. And that's not something that the config manager client does well. It doesn't clean out the old version. So we're just gonna go ahead and clean that out manually here using uh, this tool. And then we can go ahead and show the last feature, the hardware and firmware audit dashboard. This has been updated to include uh, UEFI, Secure Boot, and BIOS version. So let's go ahead and I'm going to list all of my desktop devices. And now you can see that on all my desktops, I have UEFI enabled. I only have Secure Boot enabled on one of the machines, which I find surprising. And I'll have to deal with that later. Um, but this is a great tool for servicing data just like that. And as you're kind of doing spot checks, you might find things you need to deal with. Another thing that I really like about this is if you have already made collections for like, different models in your environment, uh, let's just go ahead and pick Latitude, for example, uh, the E7470. I can go ahead and scan that. And then I can get a list of that device and I can see which BIOS version. Now, if I had several, they would all be listed here. And I could see which BIOS version was on each machine to see if I had a bunch of drift going on. And if they, if I did, then I could make sure that the deployment team is getting those BIOS updates on those machines. Because I really only want to see one version. And what's really cool too is I can go in here. I could actually go ahead and click BIOS version. Uh, let's get rid of uh, chassis type. 
And now let's say if I um, run this and I it would actually give me a list of all the different BIOS versions over here and then I could drill down and give me a count. Uh, so this dashboard is really handy in regards to figuring out what kind of hardware you have out in your environment. Well, thanks for stopping in and checking out the video. Uh, go ahead and check out other things on the blog and go ahead and uh, sign up for a 30 day uh, free trial. Anytime you download and install the community tools, you do get a 30 day trial of enterprise, which enables all these other cool features. And if you find out you like them, uh, go ahead and reach out for an extended demo. And if you need extra time too, just reach out to our sales department. We'd love to have a chat with you. Thanks.